Guys, today I'm going to teach you highlight correct summary. Okay, this is a super easy question. Yes, you can guarantee some reading score. Yes, it, you can guarantee some listening score as well. So highlight correct summary carries your reading and listening score and I would like you to get that score. All right. Ahid, welcome to PTE 5 Minute School by Brisbane PT Study Center. Today, I am going to teach you how to get 90 in highlight correct summary. I'll tell you just like any other videos, do watch my all my other videos. You will always see that I'm always excited, okay? I'm always explaining in a very, very simple way, okay? So that you get 90 in your PT exam. So let's not wait too long and let's go straight to my point. Okay, welcome back. So what is highlight correct summary? Highlight correct summary is that you will be listening to an audio. Okay, you'll be listening to an audio. The audio is usually about one minute in length. Okay, now this audio is just not a simple audio that you listen to music. Okay, it's not a hip hop music. Okay, anything like that. It's gonna be a very serious in fact, it's very boring as well. I find it really boring. It's going to be a very boring or serious um, audio about information about a research topic. Okay, that's what PT give you. They give you a research topic. So research topic means if you're if you're those those of you watching my video. Okay, remember, you know the, the videos that we watch. Uh, sorry, the, you know, I mean when we watch National Geography channels, when we are watching um, Discovery okay discovery channels as well when you're watching ted talks okay any information maybe a medical information okay and in one minute they say so much information they say so much information uh, those kind of audios that we're going to listen today okay now is the whole audio important not really so highly correct summary is that you will listen to one minute of this audio and then the summary of the audio will be given in front of your screen okay so you usually get four options there are sometimes okay very rare you might get five options but the standard question in the pt exam is four options so you will get option a b c and d and they be they usually come in paragraph form because they are summary so they come in paragraph form you need to select the best paragraph Okay, that's the idea you need to select the best paragraph so reading skill is important but I can assure you that I've got a little trick and I'm telling you, you don't have to read too much okay you don't have to read too much and you can still get that correct answer so I need to help you through we will be listening to some audios we will be looking at some examples so let's go again some facts number one you will get either one or two in the PT exam okay number two you need to select only one answer there is no negative marking so you just have to select one answer also there can be four options most of their four options but there can be an extra five options as well but that's very rare and this section which i really like is because it carries not only your listening score it carries your reading score okay we're all scared of reading sometimes when it comes to pt exam but this section carries reading score not too much but it will contribute to two to three marks in the reading okay so that's what you want now you will listen to an audio or you might get a video as well it doesn't really matter whether you get a video okay it's not gonna be an action movie so nothing to be excited about okay you don't have to watch the video your job is just to listen to the main information okay that's all your job now if I move to the slide okay. all right guys look you got a question in front of you so this is the strategy okay your first strategy is that you need to read okay you're going to get only 10 seconds so that that's important you only get 10 seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so you're only going to get 10 seconds in 10 seconds you cannot read these paragraphs it, it's quite impossible no one can no one can read these paragraphs in detail but what you can do is that you read only the first line of each option so a the first line b the first line c the first line and d the first line now again since it's only 10 seconds 
I don't think that you were able to read in detail of the each sentence, but what I would like you to do is that you need to skim, okay? Skim means only the words that comes to your eyes first. So here's an example. So if you look on the screen, just see what I do as skimming, okay? A, speaker, remises, views, English revelation. So that's all I got, okay? That's all I got in few seconds. That's it. So only the words that comes to my eyes first. All right, next one. B, three, interpretation, English revelation. So again, these are the three words that I picked up, three to four words. The word English revelation came twice. So that's all the only thing that I have noticed. Okay, the third one. English revelation interpreted ways historians. Again, the word English revelation came three times. Okay? And the last one, D. Historians believed French revelation important role. So this is the only um, sentence that I found. It, talk, it did not mention the word English Revelation. Instead, it mentioned French Revelation. So what simply means there is a bit of, you know, I can tell the last sentence, it's not going to be what it looks like. Okay, it's not gonna be what it looks like. It means, simply means that's not the answer. So your first job is to scheme A, B, C, and D. That's your first job, okay? Your step number two is that this time the audio starts playing. Now remember that any given audio, even you're watching a news, I'm going to say, when you're watching a news, when is the most important part of the news? That if you listen to it, you get the whole idea. When? The first 10, uh, maybe the first one minute of the, uh, the news, right? Isn't it? The first one minute tonight, the headlines, da da da. And then they start speaking about the headlines, right? And then they go more in detail. Same thing here. When you hear these audios, okay, the first 10 to 15 seconds of the audio is most important because they're introducing the topic. Now, why is that matters to you? And you can get this answer in 10 seconds, okay, if you know this concept. The idea is, the first 10 seconds or the 15 seconds of the audio will match with the first sentence that which I, which I just said, okay? I read A, B, C, and D, it should match, okay? That's the idea. And also, the last 10 seconds of the audio should match with the last sentence because a summary covers the main, okay, the first and the last part, okay? And it's always the audios, you know, they, when they start the first part and when they do the last part, they kind of give you your summary, okay? All right, guys, now here are the wrong ways that PT will try to, I mean, will, they'll, they'll use these methods to give you the wrong answers, okay? So number one, okay, so number one, have a look. So number one is that the first thing you need to remember is that the wrong answer, I'm talking about the wrong answer, Okay, what they're going to do is that whatever you just heard, okay, they will write totally an opposite information. So let me just give you an example. Let me just give you an example. Whales are the largest living mammals in the world. Okay, that was the first audio that we just heard. Now what they're going to do is that they're going to try to introduce a new topic or a new word in there okay as a part of the answer so they're going to say something like this whales and elephants are the largest mammals in the world and you're like where did i hear the word um you know yes elephants are the largest animals that's true also the whales are but did you hear elephants in the audio there was no such thing but in the answer you can see wells and elephants. So that means they're adding extra words. If you see they're writing and they're putting in extra words in their extra information, you're pretty sure you didn't hear it. That's a wrong answer, okay? They're trying to trick your brain. Please do not read further. Just cross it out. Please cross it out, okay? It's a wrong answer. They're adding extra information. Okay, step number two. So they're, what they're going to do is that they're going to give you 
totally opposite information or totally negative information of the audio which you just heard so for example they might write in the answer although the whales are the largest mammals in the world but some people argue that not only giraffes but also the tigers as well as elephants are one of the largest mammals in the world and you're like hang on audio just talked about the whales where is giraffe and the tigers coming from so that's why you do not try to select those answers totally cross it out okay they're totally giving you opposite information totally opposite information okay one more this is the third one that's what they're going to try to do okay this is the third one the third one is that what they're going to do is that um, they're going to give you information which is directly related to the audio but the problem is okay the problem with those audios is that it's only going to give you partial information okay they're going to say that um, wells are great mammals and the rest of the audio there will not be any any extra information that's it they'll just complete in one sentence wells are the largest mammals now what about the rest of the conclusion sentence where are the, all the information why is this paragraph so small so this is called partial information okay so it's directly related to the audio okay you will see exactly the same information but it only covers the first part of the paragraph or some part of the audio it's not the full story they'll just like as i said wells are large mammals that's it there's nothing else okay so just keep this in mind and that's what you have to do so i'm going to play an audio right now okay the same slide which you just saw okay let's play the audio in 30 seconds i would like you to grab your answer okay so here we go again have a look at the answer three two one playing the audio i want to look now at the three main approaches historians have taken towards the english revolution or civil war there is a fourth point of view taken up by most school children when they first meet the subject but it can hardly be called historical. On the one hand, schoolchildren tend to have a romantic image of the Cavaliers, who were supporters of the monarchy, as aristocratic... Ch okay. Now let me look at the answers and I'll tell you why the ones that you chose, some of them, some of you chose the wrong one, why you got a wrong answer. Okay, so here we go. Number one, the speaker reminisces his views of the English Revelation, that's what you heard, when he was a student. Okay, did you hear anything about he was a student? Okay, I did not finish the complete audio, but in the first 15 seconds, did you see, did you hear that when I was a student? Did you hear anything like that? No, that means here the examiner has added extra information, so that's wrong. You don't read any further you cross it out straight away and that's the reason a is not the answer now let's look at b okay there are three main interpretation of english revelation did you hear that did, did you hear the audio they said that yes you did so that could be an answer but some of you also picked c right so let's look at c the english revelation has been interpreted in several ways by historian now here they mention several ways but in the audio they mentioned three didn't they so let's play again i want to look now at the three main approaches historians have taken so there you go the audio said three main but what's the difference between b and c in c they said several ways the word several could mean five six seven eight nine fifteen 20 even sometimes several so several doesn't have a definite number okay but in the audio it is specifically mentioned three so those who selected b as an answer you are correct okay that's why i told you guys okay the first 10 or 15 seconds will match it directly with the audio this is a pt question okay and this is the trick let's do another example okay this time i'm gonna play an audio from Iowa okay I'm only gonna play I have to play the full part okay you have to listen to it and then you guys gonna help me select the right answer okay so let's play an audio in 
in Iowa right now okay so guys now I'm going to make a video okay um, in front of you as you can see I'm playing an audio called the origin of Santa okay so have a look what I'm doing you can see on your front of your screen okay you got the question if you look at the question they look pretty big I'm going to click on start um, as you can see there's a 10 second countdown time started and I have to read so let me quickly do um, establish Santa Claus Santa Claus Santa Claus the story, of the, origin of the, the story of the origin of our dear old Santa Claus is fascinating there are several major characters that have contributed to hold that Santa Claus is simply a caricature of St. Nicholas, who lived in Asia Minor around 270. There are elements and symbols surrounding Santa Claus that are derived from Norse mythology to early December. Over time and after the Reformation, St. Nicholas was largely forgotten, except for in Holland, where he had become the folkloric figure of Sinterklaas, a wise and kindly old man with a white beard dressed in white and red clothing, made by his mischievous helpers. Okay, so basically what happened in Holland, okay the guy um, Saint Nicholas okay he big he became a popular figure okay and they portrayed him as you know the red man climbing on the chimneys and things like that this is what they said right at the end right so we need to look at these two information in one of those paragraphs so have a look um, on your screen have a look there there are many characters characters that help to establish the culture tale of the roots of our dear old Santa Claus. That sounds like my opening sentence, okay? Maybe that's the answer, maybe. Okay, let's go to the next one. Certain individuals have contributed to the creature, creation, sorry, creation of Santa Claus figure several years ago. I did not hear anything about several years ago in that audio, so straight away, that's a lie. That's an extra information. Cross it out, cross it out, okay? Totally cross it out. Okay, the next one. Mythology evolves around a character such as Santa Claus. Uh, mythology, um, yes and no, not directly related to my topic. Um, I'm not gonna take that as a part of my answer as well. Maybe, maybe not, but it just doesn't sound right. It's nothing to do with mythology. Most people in the West believe Santa Claus is a traditional Christmas folktale. Nothing about the West, okay? So, I think my first one is the answer, but I would like to check my last conclusion sentence, yeah? About Holland, about St. Nicholas, and so on. All right, again, paragraph number one. St. Nicholas is said to have been involved, evolved since the Reformation. That means he has been changed. Sounds like, again, looks like my first answer, okay? It looks like my answer. All right. Um, be totally out I'm not gonna read it mythology I did include it so I'm gonna read the last paragraph a smart nice old man who is who is dressed with white and red clothes are riding a deer mm, nothing about smart and these all looks like extra information cross it out that's fake that's fake all right and in the last one uh, most of the people in the West I'm not gonna read the last part anyway because the first sentence was totally a wrong answer so I'm going to select only the one you know the first I mean in this case would be there are many characters and that's the one that I'm going with let me press submit and let's see what answer I get and you can see I've got 90 and that's what it is okay just read the first line and the last line that's it hey guys now I'm wrapping it up what did you learn from me today is that you will hear in one minute audio okay in the first 10 second quickly have a go through what the topic is about and I did one with Santa Claus that was an example you need to listen to the first 10 to 15 seconds of the audio just get a quick idea what it means in the middle it's not that important in the last 10 second and 15 second get some information and try to match the first line of A B C and D or maybe if you have a bit of doubt go with the like you know the last part the conclusion centers of A B C and D you will find your answer if you think anything there's odd something add you know they added extra information in there quickly cross it out like one more thing that I did not mention is that sometimes some of the answers will have dialogues in it okay those are never the answers in the PT exam. The ones that has dialogue sign in it, yeah, okay? Speech mark in it. Please do not select that as an answer, okay? I hope you really enjoyed what I showed you. I hope that you can answer, okay? 
um, if you do want to make me to make more videos with more examples I'm happy to make them that's what my job is just let me know in the comment section below and you're welcome if you want to use this software Iowa just log go to Iowa the link is below log in and start practicing this question absolutely free all right guys thank you for watching this video okay you have completed highlight correct summary um, this section does not contribute high marks but it does contribute to your reading and listening maybe two to three marks but who knows you know some of you get stuck you didn't get your desired score just for two marks or three marks so every marks counts okay so study hard okay you know study hard apply the strategies you will get score okay don't be disappointed you are going to get score and this is um you know make your family happy and make everyone happy and show them that you're the best of the best all right take care goodbye